and in our second video of the day, welcome back guys, my name's Shu, this is our next mission. Royal Evvas Modern World, get this a screen, it's chip control. Guess that could be Eva's, but this isn't even Galleon. Although it is also it is awesome, and even Galleon is awesome. Two awesome things are not necessarily the same awesome thing. Yeah. Actually, I guess it's not an interesting story, actually, so I may not say it. Yeah, I've got to say it now, because I've started it, haven't I? Ugh. But yeah, I um, pre-ordered Evangelion 1.11. Uh, you Are Not Alone, whatever it was called. I don't remember what the sub no, the subscript title, subtitle is. That's what the word is. don't remember the word for subtitle either, but hey. But um, I, I ordered that ages ago. And I totally forgot that I ordered it, so it just kind of appeared in my ladder box one day, and I was very confused as to what it was. So yeah, that was that was a really boring story that I really shouldn't have told, but hey, I, I started it, you'd be asking what it was if I didn't finish it. Yeah, it's about as interesting as my life gets, you know. Anyway, this is where we were meant to learn how to use the teleport as... In, in this mission, but obviously um, I skipped it because it's really easy. So teleport all over the place and just drop things on stuff. It's not really very inventive to be honest. I guess it, mm, I don't know. It's kind of inventive, but is it much the same as other uh, puzzles in this game? Or missions, or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, just hide behind the anvil and the um They look kinda like mermen from Castlevania games, don't you think? Or am I just seeing things? But yeah, that they'll uh they'll not hurt you. And you're just gonna make up a little tower on top of the teleport uh very simple cannon. Fires once. If you jump back in the teleport it's alright. So teleport no if I keep on doing that, I'll get really, really obnoxious. Well, it already is really, really obnoxious. What am I talking about? Teleport! Which I'm not doing. And I think I'm going to get hurt. No, I'm not! Hey, I blew up some faces! Yay! And collected the heart. Cause why is it that in these later ones, they always give you two hearts to begin with, and then put one in the, the stage? Why not just give you three hearts? You know, they're hard. It's quite easy to lose the heart. Especially when the heart is right in your way, you don't have to go for any special little passage or anything. I guess it's probably that they had a little passage and side area or whatever it was to get that heart originally, but this game's actually pretty big for a Game Boy game, so I assume they cut a lot out, which is why a lot of things don't make sense. Like when it tells, in a number of cases, it tells you to destroy things and you actually have to collect it and so on and so forth. But hey, anyway, this is a really slow, boring puzzle, but just stand at the right pixel place and make sure you don't push them too far and, you know, get through it reasonably easily. Still pretty easy to make a mistake, but I guess you have four chances, so. All the puzzles in this level are easy, to be honest. It's just a really tedious level. I guess it's introducing the teleporter and all, but this is level 9! We're meant to have everything already introduced to us. And we're just, just meant to be doing hard puzzles with them. And we've got to wait for this um, dragon to crack open. The egg to crack open and reveal the dragon even. Dragon to hatch! That's what I could say! I know my words! And we have to... Uh, make him push that off well so we won't be able to teleport to the other side. See I can I can be as obnoxious as I want. You can't stop me. And this is the final room. It's very short, shorter than the other mission for sure, but it is the first of the uh level. The yeah, the level. I said the right thing. Anyway, this little block is annoying because it, it basically requires pixel perfection to be okay. You gotta hit it. You gotta touch it three times, and then jump it. 
pretty much perfect to get over that smiley face thing. If you push it more than three times, when you push it down here, it'll just fall off the side, so... Yeah, I, I don't like that puzzle too much. Anyway, collect the screen, and leave the Level with the room. Leave the mission. Get our money. Why can't I talk at the moment? I don't know. 8,115. But we'll get more. Because for some reason the final mission has a ridiculously large reward. It's weird because, you know, we just saved the world. I thought that would be reward enough. I guess we didn't save the world. All we just did is kill Kron and bring music back. But hey. That's on level 10, and that's next time, in the finale, to Let's Play Monster Max. Keep on playing, guys, and see you then.